Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, hello, my name is Dion, a photographer in New York City. Please go to my IG, my Twitter, link below, to check out my work, to see what I do. Also, consider becoming a patron, please and thank you. There's extra content on there, and you also get to help support the channel. All right, so today's video, we are checking out the photos that Rise did with Louis Vuitton for GQ Korea, January 2024. Now, I did see that Vogue Korea did a shoot with Rise, which also is sponsored by Louis Vuitton, so I may check that out soon. If you guys want me to, let me know below. Um, but I'm excited because I think this group, their whole aesthetic, their whole like thing is my jam. Yes, I might be biased towards SM groups in general. Like my favorite groups are like Shiny, uh, NCT, and EXO. So I'm already biased towards the machine that is SM. I know they have their issues. I, I think all the companies have their issues with their idols, how they handle them. But I, I just happen to love SM artists. You know, I like, you know, Boa and like I said, those groups. I also like TVXQ. So when Rise came on the scene, I was like, okay, let me listen real quick. And I'm like, I kind of like stand them a little bit, maybe more than a little bit. They haven't cracked the top 10 favorite groups for me, but they, they might. They have the potential to crack the top 10. They're definitely in the top 20 for sure. Even though they're a newer group, rookies, they've really done it for me so uh, they might become one of my favorites soon who knows who knows but anyways let's get into this shoot all right first photos the whole group together um i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of obsessed with the hand holding i think more groups should do hand holding photos like this this is so precious um i like how they're holding hands it's like like a cutesy kind of thing but they have these like really cool some structured outfits like the jackets, the ties, the button up seems very formal for this like posing. Um, I like it. Now I'm still trying to learn the members' names. I no, forgot everybody. <laughs> Wait, the one with the thick hair, him right here. So he is that his name? You know what? I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna butcher his name. I'm not gonna butcher his name. Wait, I know the one at the end. Anton is that his name he has like the soft-spoken voice and he speaks English is that who that is and then Juan huh. there's a the one with the hair parted like in the middle and his hair is like like a bob his he's striking like he looks like I mean this group is a visual group in my opinion but he is like and, but also old boy next to him, him Anton and boy next to him their visuals are insane but the whole group, though. But those three in particular, oh, my goodness. I need to photograph them ASAP. I also need to learn the members and remember the member's name. But this is a good image. I love it. Next image. Ooh. You know what? I feel like Louis Vuitton gets a bad rap at times for, like, the brand ambassador. Like, the the female um, celebrities, right? They're brand ambassadors, and they wear, like, the Louis Vuitton. People, like, don't like the looks, per se, on them and that could be like oh, okay i see what you mean like it looks kind of like it's not really giving what's supposed to give however the menswear i don't know what's hidden for me i like a matching set so the matching pants to the jacket moment they got going on with the shoes their signature um checkered print i don't know y'all i like it i like how they're styled here oh boy the end is giving me pajamas i'm here for the pajama look um and them the eyes closed like how they pose them the first photo and this one i'm obsessed with it's relatively simple nothing too crazy with a whole group group photo like this let's all stand together hold hands let's all sit eyes closed head down there's something about that's so pleasant i like this image a lot like first of all i also like the color grading i'm not sure what kind of black and white this is what tone this is because it's not sepia obviously but it's not direct it's not it's more of a cooler tone black and white and I'm, I'm i like it and everyone looks great next image oh okay y'all this image is so good from the lighting the shadows this background they're using like i said the outfits i like the checker print this off the bat is a strong simple it's very simple they're just looking over at us there's nothing crazy going on i understand that but with the photography and the lighting and how they were styled and the hair the makeup is like it's so 
clean, clear, and under control. You know what? I am going to do that photo shoot review of the Vogue shoot because right, they they the reason I'm really liking them a lot because they they slay a photo shoot. Like you see their concept photos, they eat it up. So I'm like I'm excited for them. I got I, and I also like their music too. That's the other thing. I like their aesthetic, their photo shoots, but then also the music hitting as well. So it's a win win on all fronts. Next image. This whole like uh revolutionary war wartime photo pose they're doing <laughs> with the arm on the shoulder. <sighs> okay, so what is the T on the backdrop? Do you guys know what this is? It's giving story uh storybook, pop up book vibes, it's giving traditional art kind of vibe if you guys know anything about this artwork this backdrop what what the deal is the concept behind the shoe let me know below because i don't mind the backdrop i just very curious of why they went this route with it because it's you know it's like the backdrop but it's also like the regular floor they, they, they didn't go the whole distance so i'm curious of what they were kind of going for maybe they're trying to go for a pop-up book kind of vibe but anyways good image i like i like how they look next image you know what First of all, these two, their face cards are insane. Insane. The cubist bow, the lips, crazy. Um, This is almost kind of creepy. The, like the posing of the little lamp thing in the middle is giving like haunted vibes, old timey ghosty kind of vibes. I'm kind of sort of obsessed with that. And I think, you know what it is? Because like all the photos we've seen so far and this one too, it's it, relatively simple posing. But I'm obsessed. And it might be because the photography is so good. I like how the lighting looks. These are very good images. The retouching is really good. The makeup is really good. The styling I, it is really good. And it's nothing like too like. But for some reason, all those elements together makes it just so great. And maybe because I'm a photographer, I appreciate the subtlety of this more. I don't know. But I think this is such a good photo. I just really do. And I really love it. I think it's so good. It is so good, y'all. Next image. Okay. First of all, this whole denim like backdrop is, is 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 insane. Like I need this now. I need it now. Like I need it for me. For me. Mm hmm Um, so again, relatively simple posing. They just have them, you know, standing like this. You know, it's very structured, very just do this. Click, click, click. We're done. We got the shot. We, we want it, right? There's, there's not like modeling going on. There's not like, ooh, we're doing poses. We're going to, they set them a certain way, do this. Maybe they direct them to maybe change their head this way. Maybe they did this. I don't know. We'll have to see the behind the scenes. But this structured posing gives me like they put them in a place, stand there. We're taking the photo. I need to implement that more. I feel like sometimes, most times, we do a photo shoot. You do, you can guide the model, you can guide the shoot, obviously, but it's up to them to kind of like give you, uh, 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 based on your direction. But sometimes you are just, you can do like a whole mannequin kind of thing like this. They're very giving mannequin vibes. That's what makes it kind of creepy. This whole shoot's kind of creepy because they're like little dolls, little porcelain <laughs> figurines. Um, but yeah, I, this is so great. I like it. And I think it's because of how structure is seen. Like they just directed them just to click and that's it next image oh <gasps> this is such a nice portrait of these three i need to do a trio photo shoot relatively soon i do go back to new york next month i'm gonna do i'm gonna pose like this because i do have like i have my own clothing line and i am gonna focus more on accessories this summer unless on the clothes like the bags and the hats and the bandanas i do have lots of those pieces so like oh during the summertime i can kind of really go in with it i think i'm gonna do this post because i like this so much the composition is very good the lighting is very good the jawlines are hitting especially what's so he the one at the bottom with the hair oh jawline is hitting mm. oh also like mentioning that vogue korea shoe his hair it, it's always like big and thick that shoe, it looked kind of like it's tiny, if I remember correctly. I, I just glanced at it on IG and I was like, oh, wait a minute. He's he he borderline has an afro he's like, because it'd be so big. <clears throat> but um, and that shoe, it looked kind of like maybe it was like wet or something. 
I think wet it gets kind of like it's not as big as it is dry. Maybe that's what it was. But anyways, um, this is a good photo. Next image. You know what? I'm like, he reminds me of someone from NCT. I forgot he was a part of NCT. I keep forgetting that. Was he in that Wish video? There's some members of like SM, like NCT in general, that kind of remind me of each other. It's him, Win Win, and Jisung. They all kind of like favor each other a little bit. Um, I love this image. I really am a fan of this Louis Vuitton bomber jacket. I'm thinking of making my own, actually. Could I do a bomber jacket? It's, it's an all black one. Is it over here? Oh, it's over there. I have all black one, but I want to make one that's like more varsity looking. I don't like this. I think he's wearing a skirt too. Work. Next image. Ooh, come on, brows. What's his name again? Also, let me zoom in. Marquis Louis. Wait, what does it say? I can't read this. Deposit? No. What's it say on the on the tie and on the jacket? Well, anyways, like I said before, simple posing. You know, I can see the catch light, how big the light was. I want to use more lighting, and I think this shoe is inspiring me to do more things, and I like that. That's the best part of these photo shoot reviews. Is I, I get inspired to do things in my own photography based on what I'm seeing here. I love that for me. Next image. Okay, first of all, again. I'm obsessed with this backdrop. I need to find it where they got this ASAP. Number two, I love these boots. You better work with these boots. Number three, the hair color with um, this like jacket, it, it goes together so well. Like that brown, ready, like everything about this is so good. The hair and the, like it's, and then the cheekbones and the lighting and the jaw, like everything about this is so good. But then you get to this very interesting chair what is going on here on this day with his chair? What is this? If you know, let me know. Because what is going on? This is so cool. Next image. Oh, you know what? I do need to photograph him. This <laughs> member of the group, ASAP. I mean the body language the hair the face is just giving me life now i'm kind of questioning the bag i know it's louis vuitton so like have louis vuitton in the photo i wish the bag was a different colorway there's like blue orange and white i don't mind the bag itself and those colors i just think in with his outfit and what's going on in this it's a, it stands out in a bad way so get 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 like a brown bag like the classic black, not black, but brown and brown Louis Vuitton. Like, you know what I mean? That I think, in my opinion, that work out a little bit better. Next image. Ooh. It's giving where the wild things are, and I'm here for that. Also, his hair is so big. Second of all, I love this. The whole, like, big robe jacket thingy on top of the monster thingy and, like, my favorite backdrop. This all is coming together to be one of my favorite photos. Yes, I need to know what what was the art direction? What what are these the art pieces, these thingies, these monster thingies? What cuz given traditional art vibes and I want to know what is it inspo on this. And this shoe came out some time ago, so I'm sure the BTS of this whole thing is up. If it is up, I will be reacting to it on my Patreon page, so become a patron, and you'll see it there if it, if I if I indeed find it and watch it. Okay? So, do that. Next image. Ooh. Okay. I've never been a fan of this like digital Minecraft print that Louis Vuitton has done recently. And I wish I did. Because I like 8 bit pixel art. I love pixel art. Like, I do. It's just what I think is the issue I'm having with this is the camo. I can't say I'm a fan of camouflage print. I don't think I dislike it per se, like, ooh, like, ooh, but I think that might be the case, because I'm like, I'm not, but he looks great. I just don't like this print. What y'all think? Okay, y'all, we are at the end. Now, let's go pick our favorite photo of the full shoot. 
Um, I'm gonna pick that first one, the two duo. I forgot their names. Shatiro is that his name? I this one, this image here, is my favorite. Now there's some other favorites in here, but I think this one I like the most. Um, out of everyone, it's just so good, so 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 good. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below and give me a suggestion on other shoots I should check out. And I will see y'all in the next video.